Welcome back to Tech for You Tech That Matters. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to implement text into OBS Studio. So, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and move forward with the video and show you how to implement text within OBS Studio. So, what you need to do is go down here where it says sources and let me let me close that up go down here where it says sources and look for the plus button here go ahead and click on that and find where it says text left click that and then you're gonna have this box pop up so basically with this box you can name this whatever you want uh, doesn't necessarily have to be this but it's entirely up to you now what we're going to go ahead and do once we make our selection go ahead and hit OK and now this is where you would want to put your text right in here so you can put anything you want you can be as long as you want to make it and um, just go from there and then um, yeah it's pretty much easy peasy lemon squeezy after that so what I'm going to do right now show you an example obviously I'm not going to leave you guys hanging so what I'm going to go ahead and do is type in tech for you tech that matters I'm gonna go ahead and add a comma because I want to add more text to this don't forget to subscribe to the channel at www.youtube.com for slash tech for you 21 okay so now that we have our text implemented here what you want to do is if and only if you want a font right here just left click where it says select font then you're gonna have all of these selections of your choosing you can go ahead and choose any text any font regular size doesn't matter typically what I like to use is impact which is right here left click that and then you'll get the sample here obviously and then hit OK now you can see the difference with the text how it's a little bit more standing out wise so it's standing out and let's say you don't like the color you want to change it to something else that's cool easy do what you want to do is just scroll down a little bit where it says color right here left click where it says select color and you can choose any colors with your text any colors you want typically what I like to do is go with the green so once you make your selection hit OK and I also like to add the gradient to the text because of the fact it kind of brings out the text a little bit more when it comes to um, not so much transparency but the contrast of the color of the text itself uh, the way it stands out it looks smooth and it looks very presentable so this is why I check gradient you don't have to necessarily do this but this is just my own personal preference now what we're gonna go ahead and do is <clears throat> excuse me now what we're gonna go ahead and do is look at the gradient opacity and the direction and now what this typically does is what you can see right here with this text let me move this down over here right here with this text if you can see right around here how it's transparent it's going to be like this with any background of your choosing so I'm gonna go ahead and get out of display capture and show you my actual background so now I'm gonna focus on the text see how it transparents with the background itself that's what and I'm going to show you that's what this is right here where it says the opacity you can actually bring this down and as you can see right here the text is slightly disappearing within the background you don't want that you want to keep it to a minimum where people can actually read it um, because that's the whole point of having a text now if you want to bring it down like I typically sometimes keep it at 80 to 100 so let's say you want to do 80 and let's 
Okay, right there. So <clears throat> it is set to 80. Bring this back down, go back to my background. So now, as you can see, you're able to still read it and it's still presentable to the viewers. So this is typically what I do technically from 80 to 100. I don't go anything below that because of the fact that if you were to do so, it's going to be harder for your viewers to read your text. You want to share personal information. This is the best way to go at it. So go ahead and make your selection there. Background color. If you want a background color, this is a way to do it. I leave it alone. Uh, the background opacity, this is basically saying that if you don't want the text to have transparency with your background, this is a way to go to eliminate that. I typically keep it at zero. I don't even mess with it. So once you make your selection with your text, when you're adding your colors, you're adding your font, you want to go ahead and hit OK. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you implement text within OBS. If you did like this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, I'll be leaving a link in the bottom of the description of this video so that you can all download and go check out OBS Studio for yourself. But other than that, guys, enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll catch you all in the next one.